Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, we're just getting ready to hit prime glassing light this evening, but I wanted to introduce you guys to a new product, completely changing the game of digiscoping. It's by All In, a uh, company that I'm now partnering with. Uh, and let me tell you, like this is the, the fastest, easiest, most simple setup I've ever used when it comes to digiscoping. So I wanted to do a quick video. If you guys end up liking the product by the end of this, you can use code CHAG, C-H-A-G, at checkout, and you're gonna save on shipping, you're gonna get free shipping, and you're also gonna save 10%. So pretty sweet little deal um, if you wanna get invested into this product. So going into it, on their website, you're gonna go on and you're gonna order a phone case that fits specifically to your phone. Uh, they have quite a bit of them on there. All of the new ones, of course, are available. So you get the phone case that fits to your phone, and then you're also going to get an eyepiece that fits specifically to your spotting scope. So you'll, they'll have all the options listed on there of what they carry. You'll pick whatever one fits your spotting scope. This is a loophole. Uh, Right now they're coming out with loopholes. I actually have the prototype, uh, but they have Vortex, Swarovski, Maven, all those ones like that. Um, and those are the only two things you have to buy. So in the case, you're gonna get your, your phone case, this sweet cap, which protects your uh, lens and keeps your attachment on at all times. It just simply slight twist and pulls off. It's magnetic, so it sucks right back on. Um, it's not gonna pop off, so you'll always have that there protecting your setup. Your eyepiece setup is going to just be a little circle thing like this with magnets on the inside right here. That's going to secure to your eyepiece and because it's made to fit, it's not going to cause any stress on the eyepiece. It'll slide right on, but it is fit perfectly that it's not going to just pop off either. It's designed once that's on there that you can just glass and keep it on at all times. It doesn't interfere with looking through your optics or anything like that. You can still glass and the function of your optic is the exact same. You can still twist your eyepiece out if you need to, zoom at all different levels. From there, it's real easy. Like I said, the cap, it'll just cover that. Um, when, you're ready to, when you're ready to start glassing, slight twist, pulls off, you can start glassing. This is where it's pretty cool. The magnet on your phone case is what's going to secure your phone to your optic with the magnet on there. There's a ring that'll always line up and keep it true, so whenever you set your phone down, it'll be lined up perfectly, whether that's vertical or horizontal. Say I just glassed an animal up. There's a big buck. Put my phone on video mode, slap it on, and it's good to go. Because it's magnetic, it's not gonna fall off. It's on there pretty secure. Um, and that's it. Well, done filming, take it right off, throw your cap back on, start hiking. It is that simple. You don't have to do any of the playing with it to find your even spot. You don't have to take this on and off each time. There's no twisting involved or tightening. It's once you put that on at your house, you don't have to, you don't have to touch this little eyepiece. And all it is is pushing record on your phone and setting it on there. Absolutely changed the game. I mean, I would say it's safe to say your time from glassing an animal to pushing record and filming him has been cut cut in half. We've all been there where we just can't get our attachment lined up properly. Next thing you know, the animal's gone or the shot you wanted is no longer there. So it's just so much more simple now that we could just pull our phone out and set it down on the screen and it is working horizontally or vertical, lined up perfectly. That's sort of the overall function of the adapter setup. Again, it's by All In. Uh, killer setup. Me, I know a bunch of my buddies have been using it in these uh, prototype stages and we absolutely love it. Just launched uh, yesterday a pretty dang fresh product and they're going to have more coming out in the future uh, to make sure everybody has their optic or their phone case provided and uh, they can they can get set up in one. Now I just want to go over kind of some of the user errors I see people have when they're using their optic setup so that when you get yours you can make sure you're doing it properly. One big thing I notice a lot of people do is when they set their phone on their scope and they push record, they haven't made sure their screen has adjusted to what angle you're at. If it's vertical, you want to make sure those numbers are at the top recording. If it's horizontal or landscape, you want to make sure those numbers are at the top recording, not on the side because then you'll be filming upside down. 
Again, this isn't anything that uh, you have to worry about with your all-in setup. It's just digiscoping in general. I just want to make sure you have these tips so that you can have the best experience. And the next one would be when you set your phone on your scope to begin filming. Chances are if your scope is fully zoomed out, there's going to be a black ring. Um, I like to zoom in as much as I can, uh, especially in these big distances. I'm usually always zoomed in with my scope. So when you zoom in all the way, pretty much you're lined up and your screen is completely full. There may be a little black ring and to avoid that, you're going to want to just zoom with your fingers a little bit. For me, I had to go to 1.2x to get rid of the black ring, so not much zoom. Some people have the problem though of their screen going black before they can push record. And here's what you have to do. Before zooming with your phone, I want you to push record and then what's going to happen, at least with an iPhone, is if you start trying to zoom, if you once you get to 2x, once you go past that, your screen's going to go black because it's going to switch camera lenses. But as long as you push record first, you can zoom as much as you want with your phone uh, because it'll stay on that camera lens that you first had it at when you push record. So that's a problem I've noticed a lot of people have had over the years. Uh, so that's just something to, to note uh, next time out there if you're having that black your screen going black issue. Just push record before you zoom with your fingers. Another thing that's going to help uh, increase the quality of your video, make sure you're on 4K uh, on your phone settings and then I like to adjust with my scope first and make sure the scope has the focus correct first before I touch anything on the phone. Make sure I'm zoomed in the best I can with my, phone, my scope and then I will find adjust with my my phone darken the screen or touch where I want it to focus and then I'll push record but I hope this helped you guys I love this product I'm so impressed with it it's so fast again like I said just spotted a buck boom pull out my camera I'm filming that quick no messing around no more playing with your phone uh, go grab one again it's all in use code chag at checkout and that's gonna save you some money and I hope you guys have an awesome summer, whether that be scouting or going into the fall looking for animals and uh, getting some sweet video.